hi we are here today with our first not commerce video tutorial from Arvix as you can see on the screen in front of us we have notcommerce.com pulled up we're going to move our cursor over to downloads download not commerce now we are still currently working on the not commerce 2.8 version this is the version with uh, strictly web deployment we have a version that has the source code which is what we'll be downloading today as well as the upload scripts that are simply to upgrade previous versions of not commerce so today we are going to download the source code version and set it up on our Visual Studio 2012 as you can see the downloads pretty straightforward we'll save it to the desktop today so that we can locate it more readily when we're setting everything up while we're doing that what we're going to do is open the documents folder and we'll navigate to my documents visual studio 2012 Let's go ahead and create a new folder for our new project, which will be new folder. And we're going to label this NOP 2.8 so that we remember what it is. And double click to open, navigate to our desktop and extract the zip file that we just downloaded to its own folder. Okay, and we are going to open that folder. Control A, Control C, and paste it into the new folder. Okay, now that we've got everything copied over into our projects folder, I'm going to also, for the sake of being able to tell projects apart, this is also really important when you're working with various versions of not commerce for testing or support purposes. What we'll do is not 2.8. All right, now we will open Visual Studio 2012. and file open project navigate to 2.8 click our solution and click open as you can see we already have the solution explorer open over here so that we'll see just as soon as everything is loaded and ready to start our uh, setup and there we are you can see the solution with the libraries plugins and presentation and tests being the primary folders underneath. Presentations where we'll do most of our work specifically in NOP web. So what we'll do at this point in time is click start and let the build begin and we'll begin our setup. Depending on how robust your system is this may take more or less time. Now one of the other prerequisites to this tutorial is that you've already got SQL Server, in this instance we'll be using SQL Server 2012, but already having your SQL Server set up and already knowing what your server name and server path is. There we go, we have our installation screen. You can change your initial setup at this point in time. I'm going to use my email address which is indy at indigot.com and because this isn't my first rodeo it remembers what password I normally use so we'll just leave it there and for our tutorial today we will choose to create sample data now if you're learning not commerce it's a really great idea if you're setting this up for an actual client site you may find this to be a little bit inconvenient to remove the data the categories and such that are automatically set up at a later point in time. So, and, and also you don't have to use SQL Server. You can use built-in data storage which is reliant upon SQL Server Compact. For this tutorial today we will use SQL Server and we will choose create database if it doesn't exist because it doesn't right now. 
Right now we'll be entering in our SQL Server name, which since I'm on my local box is more again slash SQL Server two. And for today's tutorial we will choose to create a database name of NOP Commerce two eight. And we'll just choose integrated Windows authentication just to keep it simple. Now let's click our install button and watch it go. It's okay to leave this part unattended if you need to get up at this point in time to go get a drink, refill your coffee or your tea, or tend to any other tasks that you may have pending at this moment. And now we see our default instance of NotCommerce installed and ready to log in and explore. You'll remember that you created your admin login previously, so we'll do that, which is and remember we used india at indigo t.com, which is my email and a password that was appropriate for a development environment. And click login. As you can see, you've got your administration link at the top of the page, and you can go from here to start exploring your new Not Commerce instance. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial session, and we'll be back next time with more on how to customize and implement Not Commerce for your particular needs. Thanks, and have a great day.